Even when you don't believe, there's always hope, isn't there? What's the name? The Lower Decks. We have one of them already. Um, the Miracles. Best of luck. First prize, tickets to Lourdes. Why do you want to win a trip to Lourdes? Our best friend, Maureen, always wanted to go. She'd want us to. No. Miracles happen there. Yeah, that is The Miracle Club, and that is the new film from Thaddeus O'Sullivan, who I have to say I remember from hanging around the Groucho Club whenever he came over from Ireland. Uh, we're delighted to welcome Steve Martin. Hi, Steve. How are you? Uh, good afternoon. Thank you. Welcome to the show. Um, tell us about The Miracle Club. It's on next Tuesday here at the ICC. Uh, yeah, we're, it's going to be the first screening in the UK wow. of Thaddeus O'Sullivan's new movie, um, I believe we would call that a preview. Yeah. Um, just to say a little bit about O'Sullivan himself, he is a very important filmmaker in uh, in the the world of Irish cinema. Uh, he was um, one of a number of uh, quite small select filmmakers who effectively got Irish film started back in the 1970s. Uh, when there was himself and a few other names like Joe Comerford, uh, Bob Quinn, Pat Murphy, Lulia Doolin. Is this before Neil Jordan or was Neil Jordan yeah, part this, of that Yeah, this is crowd? really back in the time when, uh, to quote Peter Lennon, who made the very important film documentary Rocky Road to Dublin, uh, would say that Ireland almost had no film culture, uh, very, very little, uh, you know. We were known for our literature, we're known for our music, but we weren't necessarily known for our film or indeed our visual arts more generally. I mean, we, we had our moments, but mm -hmm. uh, not, not too many. And uh, Thaddeus O'Sullivan was one of a, of a small group who almost literally, you could say, began making movies out of thin air. They had very little in the way of budget, they had very little in the way of backing. And uh, he probably made, uh, O'Sullivan probably made his breakthrough movie with one portmanteau film called On a Paving Stone Mounted, which is rather rare and difficult to get hold of, but I think you probably can find it we somewhere showed, on the we internet. We showed them all here as a retrospective of Thaddeus's films yeah. in, in here. And, and he also made that lovely film, The Woman Who Married Clark Gable. The Woman Bob Who Haskins. Married Clark Gable is particularly special because it shows that um, cinema was such a, an important medium it was about this woman who kind of in a, a drab marriage uh, stars Brenda Fricker and Bob Hoskins and it's a bit like it, it, it's almost like uh, it foreshadows uh, Woody Allen's movie Purple Rose of Cairo where this woman disappears into the fantasy world of being in love with Hollywood uh, film stars and then uh, around about I think this is probably around about 1990 he made December Bride which was um yeah, an, an, an exceptional uh, adaptation of uh, Sam Hannibal's uh, great novel, which is set in the uh, v uh, a community which gets very, very little spotlight put on it, which is the Irish working class Protestant community. Yeah. Uh, uh, well worth seeking out. Shortner, with Donald, 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 Donald McCann, Donald McCann yeah. Kieran Hines, and, the, the and uh, Saskia, Saskia Reeves. Reeves. Well worth seeing. Um, but to talk about his, his latest movie, um, it's, um, it's a very interesting piece. Uh, I think to begin with, um, it was, I, I think we, what we would have called it, I, I thought it was going to be a very sweet, light-hearted uh, movie about um, a group of people who are kind of coming together at odds with one another to some extent, but um, beginning to reconcile their differences. Um, and uh, I say it, was, it began light-hearted, but it goes into some very dark places um, <laughs> along the way. There's, there's one line in it where one of the characters says, uh, it's the guilt that kills you. Mm -hmm. uh, well, actually, it, it started, it, it's got a top-line cast in Maggie Smith, yeah. uh, uh, Kath, okay. Kathy Bates and Laura Linney. Absolutely. Uh, Stephen, Stephen Ray, Ray. No it, buggies, yeah, it? It, it, it's it, it's more the 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 women that uh, carry the film. It, it's Stephen Ray is in it, of course, yeah. and he's always worth seeing. Marco Halloran is in it, playing a, a Roman Catholic priest. We don't see enough of Marco Halloran. Yeah. Um, it's set in 1967, late 1960s, uh, and it's about a, a group of women who um, having their troubles from a working class 
Dublin suburb um, take a trip to Lourdes. They, uh, win, a, they win a trip, don't they? they? Yeah, they <laughs> they win a trip to Lourdes and uh, by hook or by crook, uh, they all end up on the bus. Uh, and uh, it takes us off to uh, Lourdes. Uh, it's, I was watching it and I was thinking that this is going to be a very interesting film when it goes on general release in Ireland. Because if, if we understand that phrase, the past is a different country, I think modern Ireland's are going to find this uh, <laughs> definitely uh, a different country to the one that they understand now. Yeah. Congratulations. <gasps> you can't go. I'm going. What'll I do on me own? Go back to bed. Do you coming back, Ma? Maybe. Maybe not. Mary, mother of God. I so shock and believe it. Excuse me. <clears throat> Who is it? Maureen's daughter. We all thought she was dead. Hi. I wouldn't have recognized you. Forty years would do that to you. Is there only one bed? Your mom wouldn't have trust. I am not my mother. Ain't that the truth? Oh, you remember me. I was sure you wouldn't. Who forgets family? Yeah, who does that? Why did you leave? Never come back. Leave. I was banished, Eileen. Our lady. She's going to help us. That's where she appeared. Right there. She told everyone to come and bathe. I say it's bitter cold. Oh no, it's a miracle. Oh. Ah! We're ready. I'm not. It is interesting, though, what they do with the the aspect of the trip to Lourdes in the story because um, I think we would probably have expected uh, people in that time to have gone there unquestioningly, you know, fully um, engaged with the idealism of it all. But they, they do raise quite a few questions about it. You know, are, are we supposed to believe all this? Uh, uh, one, one of the characters actually uses the phrase hocus pocus at one time. Uh, what, what I think is there are many, many good things about the movie. Um, but I really liked uh, the way that O'Sullivan sets up that world and recreates that world really very convincingly. There can't be much of ni uh, what was around in 1960s Dublin, can't be much of it left now, but they did find enough locations to make it very convincing. Yeah. Uh, O'Sullivan has in the past, um, he's directed episodes of Call the Midwife, mm -hmm. And it's kind of got that feel to it. You know, he, uh, he recreates uh, that, that world, that time, with a little bit of gloss, it's got to be said. But what I really like is the way he lets his camera do the talking. Yeah. He takes us into the, these houses. We can see things like the iconic uh, um, Catholic iconography, uh, the, the crucifixes on the wall, the uh, little bottle of holy water. Uh, the Sacred Heart picture. He doesn't actually put them right in front of our faces. He kind of lets them emerge from the background. And I'm pretty sure that uh, anyone who's uh, from my generation, and probably the generation that followed me, but certainly the generation that was before, would recognize this world. And I yeah. think he, he recreates it very convincingly. Brilliant. Sounds like a, uh, a must watch. Some of people should definitely grab a ticket. A for must watch it indeed, It'll yes. be a joyful night out. I think it, a bunch of let women should come together and enjoy it because it's, it's a great women's story film. It, it certainly and is. And it's yeah. joyful and it's uplifting. Everybody will enjoy and, it. And gra uh, you know, great performances as well. Yeah, uh, brilliant. Maggie Smith uh, is, uh, I don't suppose uh, I'm insulting her when I say she, she's got a face that looks like uh, the rocks of Connemara, yeah. but it, it kind of, it really <laughs> is an expressive, way. yeah, really is expressive, and she's got these magnificently expressive eyes, and uh, she's able to convey really strong meaning with just a, a twitch of an eyebrow, it, 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 uh, exceptionally good. How, how's her accent? Excellent. I, I would not know the difference uh, between hers and, what should we say, an authentic Irish accent. Better than Nicole Kidman in Far and Away. Like <laughs> yeah. I don't need a cure. Not everyone goes to Lourdes for a cure. I'm out and I'm running out of chances. Church is good at guilt. It's also good at forgiveness. Can you ever forgive me? Oh, Lily. I'm glad you came, Chrissy. You don't come to Lourdes for a miracle. You come for the strength to go on when there is no miracle. I loved you and you left. So I hated you, but I never hated you more than I loved you.
Even when you don't believe, there's always hope, isn't there? Did your wife pass away on you? She's in Lourdes. There's a miracle for her. You, shopping. 